right there. All of them. Uh, all of them. Right here. Too. <laughs> <laughs> so how's it feel? I mean, this is a whirlwind. Just a couple of weeks ago, you were still at the JC, and now you're here. What's the overall feeling? Oh, it's a great feeling. Say, I didn't think. I was like I said, I went to junior college. I thought I had two years. And then ended up being a late qualifier and made the best decision and decided to be a Bruin. So it's just everything is going so fast, but the coaches, Coach Moore, Coach, Coach Angus, Coach Tui, Coach Rick, I'm trying to you know, get me in, settle slow, get used to the playbook, you know, just, just gradually build. But it's a great feeling to be a Bruin. Real great feeling. When did you realize you were going to be a qualifier? Um, I, I didn't. Like, out of high school, I like, signed with Cal, and then my trans, it was, it was a misconfusion with NCAA and Cal, and then pretty much my transcript, it didn't, it looked like I was a non-qualified, but it was some summer school classes that, um, that they didn't add. So once them, them classes got added, you know, GPA rose up, I had all my core units, and I became a qualifier, and I was able to leave right away. I said, when, once it happened, I was really excited. I was really excited, and when I took my unofficial visit here, always knew that I mean, if I had to leave the next day, it would most likely be UCLA. How key was Coach Angus and all that? He, he was really, really important. Him, um, so he, he didn't want to, he, he didn't want to notice it. Like, so this whole time I thought I was a non-qualifier and he, he checked my, um, my NCAA planner and it, it didn't say I was a qualifier, he didn't say I was a non-qualifier. It just, it was stuff that I was missing. So. He helped me, he was pushing me to get on it, go back to my high school, the district, call NCAA, get help. I mean, I mean, it took a while, but eventually we ended up getting done and we growing. So did he just call you randomly one day and be like, hey, Zach, you can come, you can play? Like, oh. How did that, how did that conversation go? Like I said, we, we really didn't know if I was gonna be a qualifier or not, because like I said, it was, it was a 50-50 chance. It was a long process. It, um, See, it was, like I said, it was a long process. Like, once it got done, and it was like, now we gotta get you admitted to the school and just, you know, get you get you situated, come down and be a Bruin. But, see, I didn't, I didn't know if it was gonna work or not. So I was still focused on getting my knee right, and, um, you know, taking my classes at my dream college and focusing on them. I mean, once it happened, it was like, dang, I gotta pack my clothes, I can go right now. But, so, I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be here. I mean, Frustrating to know that you had done the work and kind of have your future decided with someone else. Um, can you, can you, can you say it again? It was a frustrating to know that you had done all that work in high school and then have your future decided by, <laughs> you know, the incident. I, mean, I feel like every, every everything happens for a reason. I mean, maybe maybe it wasn't meant for me to go to Cal. Maybe it was meant for me to be a Bruin. I mean, it was nothing I could do, so I just took it to the junior college, did the best I could do there, improved my grades up. I had a pretty good season and just took it from there. I mean, I just got to move on. There's nothing I can do about it. And now I got a second opportunity at UCLA to play for an amazing program, Coach Moore, and just, just go from there. Were there, were there any other coaches that kind of stuck with you, kind of kept in contact over that time, or was Angus uh, really? And Angus, Angus was the only one that pretty much knew about it. I kind of kept on the down low. But pretty much once, once he got out, that's when everybody was like, man, Tech, what's going on? And everybody was kind of shocked, like, what's, what's, what's happening? So a few coaches tried calling me and trying to um, say they offer the same thing at like UCLA is offering, we get you in short school and we want you to come here bad. But so I talked to my family about it, talked to Hanks about it, and I finally um, pretty much knew I wanted to get going. So, so I, I thank the coaches that you know, put their final words in, but it was, it was pretty much shut up. Was there a sense there's some loyalty to Angus since he's the one? Yeah, yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Like I said, once when I did take my when I did take the official, that unofficial visit here on the USC and on the UCLA, um, I fell, I fell in love with the campus. I fell in love with the coaches, the players, the the environment, the school. It just it was a great place to be. So after last week you got your feet wet. Yeah. <laughs> um it's just a it's it's a whole new level. So JC High School, I mean, people compete, but here they're much stronger, faster, bigger, athletic. You know, I'm just trying to get my, you know, get adjusted to the next level and do the best I can do. What did you work on most in that year here in JC? In JC, I was uh, trying to work on everything: pass rush, run stopping, speed, strength. 
pretty much all the things I need to do to get me here. So now that I'm here, but it's unexpected I'll be here this soon. It's kind of like now I gotta get to work as, as soon as possible. Like I said, the game, the game is much, much, much stronger and faster. So I'm just trying to you know, get adjusted. So I just got here. I'm just trying to get adjusted and just go from there. What do you feel like you bring most to the defense right now? Tell me. What do you feel like you bring most to the defense right now as the player you are? Right now? Um, see, I'm still learning. I'm just, I'm just trying to compete. So the teammates, they like, oh, uh, he wants to hold the line. If I don't know something, he'll help me out on the side line, tell me what I need to do. He's more, more gap defending than anything. It's not like last year when Bar just rushing and stuff like that. It's more being disciplined. So, you know, I'm just trying to help, trying to bring as much intensity, you know, hard work that I can do myself better, and also to uh, help the team get better. So it's, it's gonna take time, but so I'm slowly, slowly getting better. Are they telling you you're gonna get more plays this week? Um, I don't, I don't know. Like I said, I, right now I'm just showing up to practice and trying to compete, trying to get better each day. My coach Morris said you were probably more comfortable on the two-point stance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I've been two-point my whole since I've been playing football. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start trying to do two-point and four-point because I was a track guy. So in the blocks, you were in the four-point stance. So I'm gonna. Um, I'm working on the four point stance a little bit more, stay getting down low instead of popping up so high. So you pop up so high, the offense line, they're already bigger than you, so they just <laughs> put the hand to your face. So, see, I'm just, I'm just trying to get better overall. You know, my speed, hands, stronger. So, yeah, I feel like everything's going to be good. So you got to get adjusted to the next level. Yeah. Cool.